Hello. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the 1873 TV. Here we are with uh, Mr. Arms Yaqub, all the way in Islamabad, Pakistan. And we are talking about uh, e commerce platform uh, targeted in the African market. Uh, we started talking about solar, but now we're talking about a multi-vendor platform. Just to show you how it looks and what the thinking behind it, uh, I got a panel here, uh, Stanley, uh, who is, uh, we can't see you guys, uh, we, people need to see you first and then we can uh, go into uh, uh, Stanley Dewey. We have uh, Terence Munode, uh, Joseph Mudekunye, Sandy Lemukize. So if you have cameras, show your face so that uh, we can then uh, uh, introduce ourselves and uh, uh, get on with it. Good afternoon, all. Uh, good, uh, Mr. Mudekunye, there. good afternoon. Okay, uh, Terence, good afternoon. Uh, pleasant afternoon to you too. Uh, Stanley, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. M. How are you doing? How are you? Sandy Lee, good afternoon. Uh, not too bad. Is Sandy Lee there? No, Sandy is not there. Uh, no, he's there. Uh, he's just uh, the video is not on. But he's alive and Hamza, good afternoon. Good afternoon, man. Good afternoon. Yeah. So Hamza, maybe you can just start by introducing who you are because you are a special guest. We are all okay. with different area yeah, than yours. Th so thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Hamza Yakub, and uh, basically I'm a developer of websites and web applications. Uh, I have uh, like uh, knowledge of more than seven years in different kind of platform from the websites. And uh, basically I just uh, built uh, for the Africa community, I just built the solar panel e-commerce website. So basically it's easy to buy here and uh, online so people can gift uh, some people solar panels and uh, if they want to purchase it for someone else or if they want to purchase for themselves, they can do that. Okay, and uh, this is very good platform. Like, uh, if the people uh, want to uh, purchase, like, uh, if there are like, uh, uh, for example, in Africa, there are ten vendors who are uh, selling the solar panels. So this is really gr a good platform. Like, uh, ten vendors can come combine with the competitors to one platform, and they can sell their solar panels and uh, they can sell their solar batteries and all that, whichever they want to sell. Okay, and uh, today I'm just going to show you exactly how the website is going to be looked. I just try my best to show it really good. And uh, I'm just going to show you the quick demo, like uh, how it is useful for the customers, how it is useful for the multi vendors, uh, how it is useful for the sellers who's coming to website and uh, how it's really good for the community of the Africa like uh, which don't have like electricity, but uh, they can supply the solar panels to the African persons like in the Zimbabwe or other African countries, they can supply the solar panels. Okay. Uh, Amos supports you. Yes, uh, thank you. Um, uh, my name is Mr. Banks. Uh, I'm just an asset manager and also a businessman who is interested in uh, anything to do with e-commerce websites. I think in short, I'll, I'll make it that simple so that we can follow up on, on, on what the website is going to be doing for us. Right, and uh, uh, who else is there who needs, uh, is Sandile back to life or 
este la de, but not de. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, let's go. Uh, Hamza, you can take the screen. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to start. Okay. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, this uh, this is the website starting look like uh, when the user is going to click on the URL. This is the website uh, which is going to be. Uh, look for the persons who is just going to visit the website. First of all, uh, I like to include that this website is totally mobile responsive too. Like uh, because most most of the community uh, who is using these days e-commerce website, they have like mostly 80 to 90 percent people are using mobile phone. So our first focus was really on the mobile phone to like. For example, if people are using it on the mobile phone, they can easily assess it. Like you can see that this is how it is going to be look on the mobile phone. It is really going to be look so good in the mobile phone to like how it's uh, it is showing everything. Okay. For example, uh, let me get started from the starting. Like uh, for example, if user is coming to your website and uh, they can see that, uh, for example. There are some kind of different categories on your website like solar panel, dry batteries, solar water, solar inverter, dry batteries. And these are all the products uh, on your website like uh, you are selling the radio or uh, you are selling a home, uh, solar home 120. And uh, if, if user is coming to your website and they want like they don't know like how to search or what to do, they just simply come to the your website and they just simply can put uh, anything in the search bar. For example, they want to search for the solar, they can just simply click the solar and click the search bar and everything related to with the solar will come to your website. Okay, like if they want to have like price range, they can put their minimum and maximum price range and they can search about your prices like uh, what they can buy from your uh, website or what they have like in the categories, they can search according to the categories and all that. They can just uh, see for the like if they have really uh, don't know about the things like uh, what actually they have to be buy what actually how they actually have to buy. They can even ask the question to the seller. Asking question is really very simple. For like you just have to log into your website and the customer can come and log into your website and they can easily communicate with the seller. For example, Zone Full Energy is one seller uh, who is uh, selling this solar home 120 right now. Okay, if the user is coming to your website and they don't know now like how I can achieve this, what is ready, like even uh, we are putting good description in our website, we are uh, in, entering every good uh, components in our website, uh, we are putting like more pictures in our website, like people, how to people, like maximum 10 pictures will be on the product, so people can easily see that uh, like what the product is really about. But still, if they have still any queries, they can just simply go for the ask question. And how they can ask the question, they can simply go to the ask question. If they already have the account, they can simply uh, log in here. Like uh, they can enter the username and the password here and they can just log in. If, for example, if they don't have the account, what they can do is like they are just going for the register. How they are going to be registered? For example, I'm, my name is Hamza, and uh, I said that my username should be Hamza1234, okay? And uh, my email address is Hamza995 at gmail.com, okay? And I'm using the password. Password should be more than nine characters, okay? Once you are done with that, you have there uh, some of the term and condition, and uh, once you are going to click it, okay? Here we will edit the report recapture for the people not to log in too much. Like uh, there are reports uh, who can log into your system, but uh, by this Google capture, they are not going to log in. So it's really good. Like uh, they are not able to log in from the report point of view. Okay. For example, you are uh, done with that. You are just going to click the register right now. Uh, you are just logging to your system with your email. You can see that uh, you have your uh, email address, your username, 
your uh, sent email when the, someone sent me the message. That means like when uh, when the seller is going to reply you, you are going to get the email too. But right now I send it to the no, so I don't want email right now, okay? After that, I can check my contact information. This is really good uh, for the contact information is like uh, whenever you are going to purchase anything, like you're, you want to purchase really quick, so you already have information in your uh, panel, like uh, uh, my shipping address is this, like for example, uh, I'm saying that my name is Hamza Yakub, and my email address is okay. And my phone number is this one. And uh, I'm living in house number Islamabad, okay, and uh, for example, uh, or maybe in New York or whatever, uh, it's just a dummy New York, okay, and uh, here I'm going to select the United States, and uh, here I'm just going to write the state name, Florida or whatever, the city name is, and zip code one two three. This is just uh, for the saving purpose, like uh, you can just see the changes are saved into your, uh, for the shipping address. This is really going to helpful you when you are going to check out, even, even this not necessary, this is optional thing. For example, if you don't want like uh, uh, to give it here, but you can give it on the checkout system when I'm going to show you how you can check out, okay? This is the social media, these are the optional thing like if, if you want a user to see your uh, your things like uh, who you are really, and if you don't want to uh, show the person who really you are, you can just skip it. This is just an optional thing, okay? For example, uh, you are in the system and you forget your password, okay? You can just write here your old password or maybe you are curious that someone know about your password because your payment system is here, your address is here and uh, you don't want to skip it. You can just put your old password here and uh, you can just put old password, new password and confirm that password and password will be changed, okay? This is how the things are work. And the, for example, now I'm, I'm back to the things. And uh, for example, I just uh, want this person to be a message like uh, what you are ask a question. Okay, here it said that uh, what should be the subject and hi, we are doing live testing. Okay, and the, I send that my person a message. Okay, uh, your message has been sent successfully. Now I'm going to go back to uh, here in the my messages, and I can see that I just sent a message to one person. Like uh, uh, here, how I can buy these type of the things. Okay, and uh, we are going back to the uh, seller panel. Like uh, we are going to visit it from here, and you see that this is one blink is here. Like that means you have one notification pending. You can see that little one. This means that you have some messages. See, if you are going to the messages, you can see that someone sent you the message. Hi, like Hamza1234 send you the message. Like, hi, we are doing testing. Yes, you can buy it by clicking by now. I just send him the message back. So uh, the user now, yes, you can buy it by, so the user have really a good sense of like, uh, he can just buy the things from uh, from now, like going to the add to card or the system, he can just simply going from it and they can buy it, okay? And uh, one more thing, if if the user have uh, any, any kind of uh, suggestion, like uh, uh, he wants to give the product a good review, Right now, I'm just telling you about the customer. Later on, I will go for the multi-vendor. So I'm just going step by step. So this is just, I'm telling you about the customer, what a customer can really do on the website, how easily they can achieve that thing. Okay. And uh, yeah, for example, if they want to uh, review this website, like uh, they want to see uh, like uh, what solar system I'm using and uh, what should be the component description. If they want to review the product, for example, I said that this product is really good and I will just put the submit and I can review that. If I want to uh, put the comment like, uh, as, as for example, I put this and you can see that I just put the new comment test and if someone wants to reply it, 
they can just simply reply to like uh, zone cool energy they can like discuss about the project uh, product like uh, how the people interacting with them like are are they really good or not this uh, solar panel gives a good energy or not is it good, good for the four lamps or not uh, is it good battery or not is it usb chargeable or not like how how it's working they can comment they can discuss like uh, we are discussing on the facebook like we uh, we comment or maybe we are discussing on the youtube like uh, this product is good or not uh, this video is good or not it is like the same system and review system is for the customer who just buy the product and they can review like uh, yeah this product is really good they can review about it after after submitting the review uh, this product after submitting the review this product will uh, go back uh, to the like for example i am submitting this like test okay this uh, i just submitted the review and you will see that you will see that this product have a, a good uh, good review and you can even see that on your desktop like uh, this is the review given to the product which is the five star review uh, if the per person want to give the four star review they can give that okay and uh, uh, i we we were talking about the questionnaire with the messages now you see that the uh, buyer sent him the message and they are going by yes you can buy with clicking on the checkout and all that okay and now uh, we are uh, back to the things and for example we want to buy it what we simply going to do is like for example you want to buy two quantities you are just simply going to add it to the cart okay and proceed to the checkout this is really really system so remember we added the shipping information before in our profile that was i was asking like if you don't want to like save it for the uh later on purpose you can just come here and do that here here uh, listing for two, two things like if you are going to use it for example if you have a shipping information and billing address is the same okay if it's the same then you don't need to have to add the billing address but once you are going to send it to for example your billing address in the usa and uh, but you have to ship it into the uh maybe uh, zimbabwe or south africa or wherever you want to ship it you have to give the shipping information here okay and your billing information will be different like who is uh, billing it and uh, who is sending it okay so uh, if you have the same billing address you just have to click the same billing address and once you are going to the continue to the payment you are just going to click on the continue the payment and now you have two methods for example if you want to sell with the paypal you can do that and uh, if you want to uh, send by the by card you can do that okay for example i want to pay with the card and i say that i have uh, read all of the agreement and uh, once i'm continue the payment and it will just give me the button to pay now okay once i'm going to click on the pay now it is just simply going to uh, open the uh, zone pool energy checkout page okay and once uh, for example i'm just going to enter my email and here is my card number okay see i am paying 9 dollars 9, uh, okay and because i bought two quantities and uh, one uh, price is 450 once i am done with that they are just going to give me like uh, 450 is the subtotal and the 500 is for the shipping your total is 950 this is going to generate an invoice this is total invoice like order number is this uh, your uh, uh, shipping address is this your billing address is this and your everything is this okay and uh, what i can see that my active orders uh, are there like uh, i can see my all active orders are there and all of that are there okay now one uh, once we are going back to the our seller panel like how the seller is going to see like once we are going to click on the sales okay here uh, you see that this is the seller panel and this is the user panel i'm opening two windows right now okay this one is on the chrome and this one is on the uh, firefox here on the firefox i'm showing you the seller panel okay seller can see that active sales and completed sales okay 
for example i i i just got a new order i can see that uh, what's the detail okay yeah i got the order payment is received yeah we are going to ship it to the this address okay i i just going to ship it with the, some tracking number and this is the url from the shipping okay i'm going to update the status okay we are processing it or we are shipping for example we ship this product and we submit it that means this product is shipped and uh, if if user want to see this product they can just simply go to their order tracking and they can see that uh, the product is done okay now uh, the next thing is uh, for example uh, you have to uh, this this uh, tracking number is there this is the all the user is going to see that uh, can you see my screen or not yeah i know we can see it uh, but it said that uh, your screen sharing is paused no it's off i can't see anything here so oh, i i can see it. just try and change the screen um I can see. No, I can see it too. I can see. I'm the <laughs> Yeah, can you uh, everyone can see my screen or not? Yeah, I, I can see. It's order 1 or 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 7. Uh, it's dark on my side as well. Eh? Oh, it's dark on your side? Yeah, as for me, I can't see anything here. I don't see. I only see the people in there. Okay, let it's, me uh, try it again. Can you see it now? Yes. Yeah, it's it's fine now. Yeah, it's fine now. Okay. Okay, yes, great. we can see it. Okay, okay. great. Uh, basically, uh, we are on the thing like, uh, for example, if the uh, user want to uh, like see this is the order of the user like uh, confirm order received this uh, this is the uh, confirm if you have received your order yeah here here see uh, he just uh, like the ad, the seller said that uh, i just uh, got the order okay now now it is coming back to the user like uh, are you really getting the order or not okay the user is going to come to the uh, active orders and they can just got this button. Yeah, I'm just, are you sure you want to confirm this order? The till uh, he said that I confirm this order, uh, the seller is not going to get the payment. For example, he said that, yeah, I'm going to confirm this order is confirmed. Now the payment is going to the sellers. Okay. Uh, let me log into the seller again. Zoneenergy.com. Okay. Uh, let me log out from here. Okay, and uh, let me log in as the seller. Okay, now now the seller can see that there is no active order, but there is completed order. See, this order is going like one zero zero seven order is uh, payment is received and it's completed. If you want to see the details, you can easily see the details and all that. Here, you see that your order is uh, totally complete. Okay. For example, he want to see his like seller want to see his earning like how much he earned. He made total three sales and balance is totally this and all that. Now uh, this is the user kind of view. Like I told you, how the user is going to see how the user is running, and now uh, like a customer, how can customer can come on the website? How they can search your products? Uh, even the uh, customer can see about the news. Like this is the latest news you have on the website. For example, he said that. What's the latest news uh, here? Like the latest news one day ago uh, was the news like uh, Zone Full Energy uh, Incorporation was at work and they were discussing about the solar panel with the uh, uh, while in the diaspora. Who can I bank on in the while in diaspora? This is the uh, latest news. Uh, so they can see that people can come and know about uh, really about the Zone Full like what about the solar energy and what uh, what it is about. Did you know about the solar panel will soon caught less than coil? This is the another blog uh, which is added like four days ago. The people can come on your website. They can read about it, okay? They can even share it with the Facebook. 
for example if they are going to click on the facebook you can see that uh, the facebook block will be open and you can say that post to the facebook and you can post that to your facebook uh, feedbacks okay if you want to share it with the twitter you can do that if you want to do with the whatsapp you can do that if you want to do with the pin interest you can do that okay and uh, this is all kind of the seller uh, customer point of view like uh, how the seller can come onto your website and achieve that now i'm going to go for the uh, admin like seller point of view vendor point of view like for example if uh, someone is coming to your website and uh, he want to sell something okay uh, and he want to some sell something for example this this is your website like people is coming on to your website and they said they said that they want to sell something okay uh, here is the sell now button okay first they have to register or they are register uh, for example i'm giving them name seller 123 okay i'm giving seller uh, 123 at the rate of gmail.com okay and the I'm one giving the seller this is um, seller uh, is going to be registered okay and now the seller is registered this this name is doesn't matter with the seller because this is just a user name this is not a shop name for example you, seller want to sell something he just uh, log into the system for example this is just going to log in and he said that i want to sell something once he is going to click on the sell something this form is going to be come why this form is going to come this is form going to send it to the admin panel like uh, admin of the uh, like who is owner of this website they are going to get this form details once they are verifying this detail they are going to uh, send you like yeah you can open your uh, shop or not for example i'm just going to open uh, shop for samsung okay and uh, i can say that uh, i'm in the united state or i'm in the zimbabwe wherever you want for example i'm in the united state and they can city uh, you can select the state and city and you can give the phone number and here you can uh, provide the description about the a uh, shop description why like exactly how your shop is going to look hi i want to sell phones on my website okay here once they are going to click on it uh, they are just going to submit it the form and uh, you will see that if we have received your request your store will be open when your request is approved this is going to be said even if they are going to click on the sign now Uh, sell now they they said that your request to open store is under evaluation what that mean this form is sent to the admin now once we are going to send to the admin panel okay now we are going uh, in the admin panel and we can see that we are going to get the shop opening request this is just a one shop opening request we just got now uh, like uh, seller 123 uh, or wants to open this is his user na- email and this is the shop name and he said that i want to open uh, a spoon on my website okay okay i said that yeah okay i'm just going to approve you okay once i'm going to approve it this mean that change is successfully and uh, now now i can go back to here and i'm just going to click on sell now that mean now i can sell the things on uh, your website this is going to be Uh, shown on the website okay now you can see that here uh, earnings are coming here sales are coming before these tabs were not included for the single user okay but now uh, sell now is coming for all the users okay now what i can do is like i can just simply go to the uh, website and i can add uh, some of the pictures like for, for example these are the dummy pictures i'm adding to the uh, website okay these are the dummy pictures i'm adding to the website okay and uh, basically you see that here is uh, one one button which is showing on the top which is the man button for example you want one picture to the man for example i want this picture to be the man picture okay this picture is going to be the man my picture on the uh, uh, product these two three pictures are all related to the product but this will be the man picture the one 
first picture which is going to even if you can change this to the man this to the man or this to the man okay after that i said that um, i'm selling samsung product and category will be anything like uh, solar panel okay here here you see that you can even add the images to the website if you want to add the video to the website you can do that even if you want to add the frame to the website you can do that i'm just um, adding like a height we are doing live testing okay here easily you can add the products and when you are going to save and continue uh, here it will going to ask you like how much products a quantity of the product you have you are just going to say that i have 50 quantity and here will be the price for example one quantity is for going for the 1500 here uh, you are uh, if you are uh, earning 1500 that means you are going to earn 1440 why is that because 4 and 4% 4 commission is going to the website you are not going to it's it's not four percent right now maybe it's one percent two percent three percent this is uh, just discussion with the uh, um, uh, admin panel and the discussion with the seller how much they have to give to the commission rate okay once this is done they have to the demo you are a link if you have some kind of demo you are a link uh, you can put it here if you have some kind of video for your website you uh, for the product you can do that if you have some kind of audio file you can upload it here uh, and uh, if you have like three uh, three shipping costs like free shipping shipping included and buyer's pay there are three types of thing for example shipping included and uh, in the product or maybe buyer's pay like uh, who seller is going to pay is going to check that for example this is the free shipping and here it is asking that how much time it will take to shipping for example one business day two to three business day four to seven business day and uh, maybe like uh, seven i'm just going to check for four to seven business day when i'm going to done with that i'm going to click on the submit here uh, here this, this is just for the like uh, promoting the product for example i'm promoting this product for the five days okay and when i'm going to submit this product this is going to coming as a pending product okay this product is not live when uh, you are going to see that only the seller is able to see right now because this is pending product this product is going to uh, get for the owner of the website for example owner of the website now come to the c and see that there is one product which is pending product okay and he can just go and here he can uh, approve this product uh, he can edit this product delete this product delete permanently for example he just approved this product Okay, now products are su successfully approved. Now this product can be seen by all of the users. All like now you can see that the status will be changed to the pending is removed and status is going to be changed. You see that the product price is here. Uh, it is uh, added by the seller uh, Samsung or here can, you can review that. Here you can see that live testing. Here we added three of the pictures of the product. You can easily able to see that. Here, for example, you are going to add 15 items uh, he said that you can get 15 items and all that they said that uh, your shipping will be cost whatever you have like if you are going to send for the 60 you can uh, it is not going to be 60 because you added like 50 products at the back end it is not going to take the 50 he said that maximum amount will be the 50 for the product okay and if you if you have uh, uh, like uh, if you now you can see that this product is on the uh featured product will like because we promoted it for the five days so this product will be here if they have if another product is there you can see that okay next thing uh for example you have some kind of uh, uh you want to pay out uh, for something okay let me just log into the okay here uh, here you can go for the orders you can say that uh, how much sales you have, uh, how much earnings you have, okay? Here, once you are coming to the earnings, you can see that your balance is 2382. For example, you want to check it out, okay? Once you have to do that, first you have to add your PayPal email. For example, this is my PayPal email, and I can see that I am asking uh, my, my total balance is 2382, but I want to like, for example, I just want to, uh, withdraw my 1500 from the something what i'm going to submit it and the, it is going to generate the request to the admin like this person just want to uh, like uh, 
get 1500 from their account okay now we are going back to the admin panel and we can see that uh, we have just got one pay uh, pay payout request and uh, what we can do is like we can just go and complete it okay for example if we completed it okay uh, changes are successfully completed now sorry. Okay, changes are successfully completed and now we are coming back to the payouts. You can see that he sent 1500 to the his PayPal account and now the remaining balance is 882. Before it was uh, something like uh, uh, plus 1500 and plus 882. That was the total he have. Okay, the total he have earning but now they have earning of 882 now. Right now. Before it was something 200, uh, three, uh, 200 uh, 2,382, but now he just uh, got some of the money, 1,500. Now his balance uh, remaining was 882, okay? If uh, there are some settings for the shop, like if uh, he want to set the image for the shop, he can easily like uh, once the, for this is, for example, this is the zone full uh, website and uh, they want like this image to be changed like people should see uh, another picture uh, from the product like they have some kind of other picture the user can easily change his email like if he want to change the shop name this uh, shop name will be uh, uh, enter on the uh, uh, like he can change the shop name but this will request will generate to the admin when he's going to change the shop name if he want to change the contact email he wants to change the uh, like social media icon so people can come here for example, people is going to visit this and they can see that how many product they have. For example, this is the seller panel. Now seller have uh, uh, three products. There is no pending products. There is no hidden product. Draft is a product. For example, if you are adding some kind of product, uh, for example, here, okay, here, if you want to add some product, I'm just going to uh, roughly add some of the products so you can understand what's the meaning of the drop. Okay, uh, here I'm adding the quantity, price, demo link, shipping. Okay, here here it said that so I save at draft. Okay, once it is save at draft, like you can see that your product is save at draft now. It is not live. It is not sending to the admin. It is not coming into your product. For example, if you want to save it in the draft, uh, basically maybe you have ten products in your system, and after that, uh, you want this product to be live. Okay you are uh, going to make some changes and uh, you are just going to uh, give it uh, safe changes. And even if you want to save is drop, it is coming to back. But if you want to submit it, uh, you are just going to submit it and it is going for the pending products from the seller. Okay, here you see that now you have, uh, now you have one product, four products, which uh, one of them is pending product one of them is this one is the pending product. This is not going to be live because this is not accepted by the admin and uh, zero in the draft because you already posted that uh, that product. Okay, I hope you got the understanding of the uh, product. What is the product and what is the uh, product reviews? For example, if uh, someone have uh, uh, ordered like a review on your product, like for example, uh, here you can see that uh, I just put the review and if you are going back to the view profile, and you can see that uh, there is no review uh, because this is just done by the uh, himself. The review is not going to count if you are just going to review by themselves. It is just going to be counted when the user is going to put the reviews. Okay, that's uh, how the uh, whole uh, seller panel thing like uh, easily handleable by the sellers, easily handleable by the customers. And uh, I think uh, you guys don't need the demo of the admin panel because this is the private uh, for the website and uh, there is like a lot of the function in the admin panel uh, like uh, home order product this is all of the functions which is in the admin panel but uh, i think uh, enough for the customers and the seller point of view do you have any feedback any question about the website do let me know okay yes i've got i've got a few questions eh? yeah yeah you can ask sir yeah name is amos okay um You've, you've briefly answered some of my questions that I have. But okay, uh, nice. my, my point number one is in regard to the uh, payment processing systems. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. I see you only have uh, PayPal and Visa. Uh, can you no, go? Can you go to that chat? No, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just. I'm, I'm just going to request you to do something. Just yeah, go yeah, there. Yeah. I'm going to mm -hmm, go to the payment systems that you have on the site. Okay, this is the PayPal and this is by the card. Right. There is PayPal. Mm -hmm. There is Visa. There is Mastercard and American Express and Stripe. Yeah, uh yeah you uh, basically uh, uh, the stripe is basically the thing which is going to accept any card you have okay Pay basically there is the like really two system in the website like for example if the paypal some people have the paypal mostly people are going to buy the card so uh, okay. the, we are implementing the stripe system in that which is really secure and which is the 3d okay uh, that means they are going to get the visa uh, mastercard western card and the debit card they are uh, going to charge with all of the cards i understand that but is um, is is this the responsibility of the seller to have the payment uh, processing systems or it is upon us as as the admins to offer all different kind of pay, of payment systems uh, it is it is on the admin like uh, what payment system they have to give Right. For instance, I think the, the first uh, uh, payment system that I would want us to engage, this, this, this is uh, from my own point of view, like for instance, you are in India. India is one of the uh, number one uh, countries that make use of, of, of solar systems or solar services in terms of energy, whichever way you look at it. Uh -huh. uh, I, would, I would suggest that we have is the admins uh -huh. we should also have a uh, pay you dot in and the and the pay tm you know the pay tm uh, yeah, uh, you want can, uh, yeah yeah basically uh, let me give you pay tm i can give you pay tm that's not a yes we, we also need yeah. uh, besides pay tm uh, we would also want an i wallet uh, perhaps would need skrill uh, perhaps we would also need uh, jeto Perhaps we would also need uh, pay trust for for Chinese companies. Let's assume you are a seller from China. You want to make use of our service, of, of our platform. So mm -hmm. for you to receive into China, perhaps you would need uh, something like uh, uh, a pay trust or the Phoenix payment system, or we can mm -hmm. put Poly, or we can use Union Pay. Because I think that we would, would rather not suffocate our sellers who are registering. And okay. then we, we, have the, we have that. Okay. And then also, b before I forget, also, uh -huh. uh, do we have a tracking system for the products that a client has bought? Uh, do we have a what? tracking system? Okay, my, my, my products will come three days or four days. But if okay. I if within those four days, I want to track and check where my product is now. Exactly. Do I have access to that facility? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, this is a kind of thing like uh, this is not integrated with the uh, shipping status because uh, there are a lot of uh, shipping status in the uh, like uh, country because we are targeting worldwide. We are not just targeting for the one company. Basically, this is the thing. That's why we just give the uh, URL. Like for example, for example, uh, you saw that when I'm um, let me share your screen. Uh, let me share mm -hmm. my screen. Okay. Uh, basically, that was the order when uh, once uh, someone have the completed order. Okay. Basically, here here we give like uh, before uh, like someone is going to be uh, like order the things we give here like the tracking URL. Okay, for example, uh, for example, in the South Africa, if you are sitting in the South Africa, uh, there are pay, uh, uh, what was that, uh, uh, courier guys and uh, some of other guys of who is like courier guys, the company who is just giving the shipping. So what they have to do is just uh, they have to put the shipping URL so they can just go click on the user can come and go click on it and see the shipping status. For example, if you are uh, sitting in the Zimbabwe and uh, or maybe if you are sitting in the USA, you have DHL services. But what you are going to go do is like you are just going to give the 
URL and the shipping status, like shipping URL to the customer, and they can easily trackable that. Basically, we didn't put. All right. Like okay. Okay. I understand that. Then uh -huh. the other issue is uh, the other issue is about the the rating system on the platform. Uh -huh. When I'm talking of a rating system, I'm saying there are people who are honest. There are people who have got other products that they are that they are selling, and they've got so much demand on the service. Also, uh -huh. based on trust, can't we have a platinum badge, a gold badge, a silver badge, and a bronze badge, so that when a client goes there, they can see that this person is is trusted, or this person is not mm -hmm. trustworthy, or this person can deliver products as you have expect them to, to come to, I mean, to to your house or wherever country you are, mm -hmm. and also one last thing is about the after se after after sale service let's assume that i buy the the solar panels and the batteries say the mm -hmm. a plus plus for my television or for my uh for my fridge and everything uh -huh. but i don't know how to install these things in that jurisdiction can we also have a list of say installers who can provide either installation and after sale service Assuming you have got a problem, you need someone to service that. Or assuming you have bought, but I'm in South Africa or I'm in Zimbabwe, and I don't know how to install this whole system that I've bought. Can we okay. also then have a certain side of the platform that gives certain recommendations for people? Also, for the, for the sellers to be fully marketed, they must have some kind of token system a token system allows them that whatever the client is doing on the website, their products are introduced first or they are ranked as top or they are advertised to, to the clients who come to the, to the website. Okay. Rather okay, than I, just a seller yeah, registering yeah. and then a person has to uh, search through the whole uh, uh, maze and, and do whatever that they have to do. But can we also allow sellers who want to pay for advertisement? Not like they pay cash. Yes, they can pay cash and then we give, we allocate them tokens, which they can use for advertisements on the okay. platform. Okay. Uh, uh, are you finished with your questions? Can I answer? Yes, now? I'm done. Okay. Yes, thanks. I'm done. Uh, thanks, thanks, MS. Uh, you have three questions. One is about the review of the batches. Uh, second question is your about the services and the third question is about your uh, yeah, what was the ads okay ads for the things first of all uh, once the thing is about the badges okay uh, there is the review system in your our website which is the review system like for example uh, maybe the people have some uh, sometimes people review fakes okay like uh, some people are coming and buy and they are just giving the bad reviews uh, maybe I, I, get, I get your point that that point yeah. i understood it yeah yeah because uh, you um, said let me complete that the, thing the review me... system yeah. avoids avoids me ranking myself and reviewing myself at that point i got it but i'm saying can the platform itself from the admin side also reward or award badges to legitimate sellers that have registered on the platform to say this is a gold seller. A gold seller simply means that he's made maybe 10,000 or 50,000 worth of sales and the clients are happy with. Instead of for me to buy, I have to go through your reviews. But what okay. if we say, if you are a gold member, it simply mm -hmm. means that we have done a certain number of transactions, perhaps maybe with a certain amount of money, even if we don't put the certain amount of money, but once you become a gold member, you are a certified individual that has been based on trust and your focus is to grow your business, sell your products and you make your clients happy. Okay. Something yeah, like got, that. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Like basically there is not a level system. I got your point of view. Like uh, there should be a level system. Like the seller is on the whole level, like level mm -hmm. one, level two, level three or the, mm -hmm. on the platinum level or on the like... Uh, 
maybe at the inner circle level or maybe the verified person or top person okay uh, that functionality is right right now it's not in the system because uh, that was not discussed and uh, so we can do that that's not a problem we can achieve that to motivate the sellers i got the point of view like uh, you want to motivate mm -hmm. the sellers so they can the have, idea like, is to motivate the sellers to create yeah, yeah. trust yeah, and exactly, be honest exactly. and also for clients to focus on sellers who are honest and who are transparent. And yeah, also, exactly. yes. And then the issue of, say, after sellers, I, I think Mr. Mr. M would, would come into that to say, do we then need to integrate that at, at some point in time to say, uh, you have bought these products, you are in Zimbabwe, but you don't have someone that is recommended from us who can assist you with installations and after sales yeah, service. Exactly. Now I'm going to answer That's this. That's a thought. Uh -huh. Now I'm going yeah. to answer about the services because uh, we talk about like uh, before it too, while uh, we are uh, deciding the scope of the project, okay? Uh, basically, mm -hmm. we are going to uh, build the service system in our uh, uh, website. What kind of service system is like uh, people can come like uh, you are the solar panel uh, admin, uh, like solar panel seller or something like that. And once the company, maybe you are offering the services too, or maybe there one there is someone else who is offering services in different countries. So basically, yes, on your website, they can put their services like uh, just contact them and uh, put them like, uh, hey, I want to get your services. And on that service, I, I get you. I get you. My, my point yeah. was. Can't we add this on the on the website itself to say I've bought a DSTV decoder from DSTV, but once you you buy a decoder from DSTV, you go home alone with it together with the satellite dish. But once you are there, you still have to look for someone who can assist with installation. So I'm saying, but I think I think almost what's happening. I think Hamza is trying to explain that. Look. As you build these uh, e-commerce sites, you also okay. have um, an allowance to sort of add um, uh, certified or accredited installers exactly. for this product. Yeah, exactly. So that, I that think that's, that's something that we can that uh -huh. that can be uh, sort of uh, worked on to say, okay, we can have um, okay. sort of an allowance to add verified uh, installers. So yeah, yeah definitely. Why to jump in so okay. that we we move on? Because I I mm. feel we are moving in one. We are all in agreeing, but we are moving in a circle while we're talking the same thing because of this mm. circle of time also. Yeah. Okay. My, my question was basically yeah. based on the fact that at some yeah, yeah, point, that was very, can uh, we, we have that? That uh, question about the MS, we already discussed with the Joseph and the uh, uh, other person. Mm. Like, we already discussed about the services. Our This, uh, this uh -huh. website is not going to be stopped here, man. This website is not going to... It, is going to, uh, it can be upscaled. Yeah, yeah, it is going to be uh, day by day, day by day. Yeah. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful, 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 yeah. wonderful. Thanks for that. We Thanks for that, Hamza. We are not just going huh? to sell the solar panel here. We are going to sell the services. We are going to give mm -hmm. the ads. We are going to give the digital services. We are giving the gas services. It is going to be like a blast. Like it is not just like stopping yes. on the product. It is going. To, yes, it is going yes, to yes. The yes. Like uh, uh, in the starting, you added the payment system. Yeah, we already focused, but right now we are oh, launching. Wonderful, it. Uh, wonderful. Yeah, mm, but, uh, mm. There will be like more than eight to 10 payment systems. Yes, that's what we want. As long as you can upscale exactly. the website, have, we'll be happy with that. We will give the customer uh, really comfortable when they are coming to the website. We are going to give them really comfortable, like whenever they are sitting, like because we are not focusing one country, we are focusing like different countries like China, South Africa, Zimbabwe, USA, like we are targeting many countries. So what we have to do is like, we are giving them like, uh, because uh, some people have money in the card, some have in the PayPal, some have in the uh, mobile phone, some have in the mobile top up, and some have mm -hmm. in the wallet or something like that. And some have like on the- All screen. right. But we will focus on that <laughs> and these kind of things. Uh, hey, Hamza, uh, let me just yeah, give you a background. Uh, we have been talking to with Amos about building a community. And in that community, there'll be different service providers. Yeah, so exactly. the issue of integrating a database in the where we can showcase the best installers and give them different grades. 
for uh, Joseph and Amos uh, as uh, part of this uh, ownership of the site. They have to come together and say these are the additional functions so that we don't have multiple websites that we are paying for. We have one omnibus, one highway. And that's why he's asking so that we don't have another website where we duplicate, but we need the checkout, we need the payment system so that they are comprehensive to allow for other people to uh, pay uh, and, and, and transact. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I understand his question. Like uh, he wants to give like uh, easily accessible to the like uh, payment system. And uh, yeah, I already got his uh, questions and uh, I think I try my best to answer them, but uh, there is not system of the level in the right now, but we can implement that. That's not a problem. So, yeah. yes. so basically what he's saying is that this thing is scalable. It's not limited. Whatever we want is, uh, is additional. Because remember, when we started this, there was a scope, right? So the scope is, he's, he, he has delivered the scope. So it's now, after this, then we can say, okay, we want additional services added. We already, yeah, agreed, exactly. we already agreed on the installer's part. When, when yes. we, we agreed on that part. So mm -hmm. he, he can add that, that's, that, that's not a problem. All the other additional stuff, we can still mm -hmm. add on after. Yeah, uh, this after. is scalable. Yeah, it's scalable, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, you can expand it almost like whatever peak you want. Like you can add the services, you can add the digital services in it. Like uh, maybe you have some kind of digital services like uh, you are giving to the persons or maybe like uh, the services you are saying that the installation we count it as a services like uh, we want to give the services like, uh, well, for example, not just a solar panel services. Uh, after that, uh, you can add the services for the plumbing, uh, for the like any other like services you want to include in that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's exactly. that. That, yeah. that was my question. Do, do you see how uh, how uh, pay time is? Yeah, I know pay about time. the pay time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pay they time have you like can buy, you you can buy a time. You can buy your electricity. You can pay your bills from there. You can do a lot of stuff. So yeah, yeah, pay, that, pay time yeah. allows us to integrate the whole system, even if we are going to add more payment systems. Because what we don't want is to have 10 websites. What we want is one comprehensive website that allows us to do everything from there. Yeah, yeah. I think Joseph will uh, answer you that. Like, uh... This website mm. is a limited scope, but it's scalable. Like whatever you want to include in that, we can do that. Mm -hmm. That's not like limited to the some kind of things. If you want exactly. to scalable it, yeah, ex extend it, of course we can do that. Okay, I am also welcoming Dr. Mahachi. Okay. Who was supposed to have a show at uh, three o'clock, but I thought of inviting him here so that we we can see the tail end of this one because uh, yesterday we we're talking about solar but we will have uh, Terence uh, give us the the back uh, the back end of the of the site that we're working on. Yes. So good afternoon, uh, Dr. Marzi. Hey, hey, good day, good day, guys. How are you? Yeah. We all are good. We all are good. We have Hamza. We have Hamza is in uh, Pakistan. Is uh, developed in this e-commerce platform. So he was just showing us what he has done so far. But okay. we, uh, once we finish, uh, we are at the tail end of it. Then we get into into the into the a presentation for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, do, do we have any other questions on the on the on the platform that uh, I'm just working on? I know I don't have like any question, Amos, or someone else have yeah. a question. I'm ready to yeah. answer. You are the target, so you don't have any questions. You need to answer. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm asking like all of them, like if they have any question, I'm happy to answer that. It does anyone have any question there? 
Not for now, not for now, not for now. Personally, I think I think I'm answered as long as it's available. Uh, I think Terence also will need to come in and uh, and explain, expagorate more on the other side of the bacon. I'm not sure if 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 he's if he's, if that is a question for today or is for another day. No, it's a it's a question. I think Doctor Mahesh would want to hear more from the bacon. Mm -hmm. All right. So, for Hamza, uh, thank you very much for the for the time and uh, also the the explanation that are uh, quite clear and what you have done so far. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So here we are. So what I'll do is maybe close this meeting and open up another one. Yes, okay. yes, definitely. Okay. 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 Thank you, man. Have a good day. All right. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day.